beat you to it again and got it lit. Joke's on me, isn't it? It's on you now. I'm not even ready. Not prepared. Okay, yo. But I'm gonna dive right in. Cause I'll start what I'm doing. I'm feeling really different this time. Only because you're smoking more cigars, you're outside. Quorum Toro. Quorum Classic, baby. That's Great one of cigar. the best selling cigars that we've had 20 years. I think anyway. Years. Anyway. Yeah, anybody, I think they saw a lot of these cigars. But this is, I don't smoke them often. But uh, nice car, 350 a single, bundle of 20, 50 bucks. Can't beat it. But now this is a cigar, you know, if you, you're doing other shit and you're not like sitting down and just doing it, you know, it don't matter if it goes out a couple of times right. and you gotta relight it. Yeah. This is a nice cigar, it's start, it's, starting out sweet, a little sweet, mild. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Me neither. So you know, but it's, it's still a quality cigar. You know, regardless of the price, it's a very enjoyable cigar. Yeah. Um, and we're on the road today. We're here in uh, our Cold Township location in Shemokin, PA. Um, so, you know, you got to go through the humidor, see what different things that are, are available. Found this Punch Classico, right? This Ooh. is the this is the Elite Maduro. I can't tell you the last time I had a Punch. Um, I bet you it was 15 plus years ago. Yeah, you don't see them around that much anymore. No. I remember that rare Corolla when that first yeah. came out. I mean, solid smoke, you know, yeah. a nice Honduran blend. $6.29 for a single, 114 bucks for 25 cigars. So, yeah. Um, you know, great little size. Yeah, I, I'd say it's a, a little bit bigger than a, a typical Corona, mm -hmm. but very nice. Yeah. But don't, don't let like the bundle of a quorum scare you and give you different thoughts on this car because it's a quality hand rolled premium cigar yeah really nice yep burning nice like i said a little sweet to start hope it stays that way yeah well this one's got a little little oomph to it a little kick to it so far yeah, that's, which, gonna be a kick. that's all right i like that I like, and that's exactly how i remember the original punch to be Right, I mean, because that was always a Honduran cigar, right? Yeah, punch, punch is up in Honduras. Yeah, I mean, they, in the, in years since they've had some Nicaragua product. Yeah, you know, the, mostly the known Euro, Honduran. Honduran, mostly Honduran. Yeah, yeah. And I think Quorum, or I think they're made it Nicaragua, if I'm mm -hmm. correct, right? Yeah. But no, try it out. I'm going to enjoy this one. So when you guys come to a retail store, or you decide to, however you're making your purchase. How much does, say, like a uh, influencer or a reviewer play into what you're going to smoke? I mean, do you do you watch any of those guys? I mean, do you take a, do you take it for what it's worth, or you're like, you know, I want to find out yeah. for myself? I'll, I listen to some podcasts, and if they're talking about a certain cigar, mm -hmm. that'll um, that'll I'll go look for it to try it. Only if I never did before, because you're always looking for recommendations. But I get more from just hanging around with guys and what they're smoking and what they're saying about it. Yeah. You know, that just happened recently with, um, cause I don't smoke a lot of Rocky Patel stuff. Yeah. But the Rocky Patel six. Number six. six. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. We're selling them <laughs> like crazy. crazy. Yeah. And I thought, holy crap, I gotta let me get on this bandwagon. Well, what's this all about? Tried it. What's yeah. this all about? But it was good. And you know, I get the magazines and I would say I read them, but I'll page through, look at, you know, they. They have the scores on them and all, and I'll see what's in there and do it. But I don't rely on them. To, I mean, you know, know, one thing I tell people is, you know, they'll come in and they'll have a list of, okay, this is rated this, this is rated that, and, you know, I say, you know, taste is very subjective, right? I mean, so, you know, whether it got a raving review or not a raving review, you still, you know, if you think it's something that you're going to enjoy or you're just interested mm -hmm. in and you want to find out for yourself, you have to, you yeah. gotta try it for yourself. I mean, everybody's palate is, is way different than one another, so. There's a couple cigars in my regular rotation that never scored above a 90 in Cigar Aficionado. Yeah. It's one of my favorite cigars, so you can't always go by that. Right. Never yeah. above a 90, always in the mid to high 80s yeah. on all the times they review it. Yeah, I mean, and another I thing is, you know, one cigar, you can't make a decision on one cigar, right? So if you're gonna, Give something, you know, two, three times, maybe take a little time off in between, smoke some different things for a week and get back to it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of different factors that play into, you know, your enjoyment for that cigar on that particular day. Yeah. You know, so never really write it off unless it's something you really never, you know, didn't have a well, too just, strong. That or, just happened to me and I smoked them. I don't smoke them a lot, but I smoked them 
on and off for a couple of years now to La, La Madrina, mm -hmm. La Madrina. And I always liked it. Well, the last two I smoked, they didn't draw as good as normal. They burned, but it was still all right. But right. then the third time I went back to it a week or so later, yeah. it was back to yeah. how it should be. Yeah. I might have just got something in that box that outside, just didn't burn right. A lot of different outside influences yeah. this time of year, too. So, yeah. you no, know. it could be outside. If it was windy, that doesn't help. Definitely. It doesn't help um, no. smoking a cigar if it's too windy. Out. No. Guys coming back into the cigar, burned down this side, and they're outside smoking it in a tornado. No, and they, they're not smoking and they the wind smoking it. And they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. What's the problem here? They do know what happens on a beach, because it's always windy on a beach. Yeah. I forget the one time, I think I smoked a double chateau in nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I looked down and what the hell happened to my cigar? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't see that being a problem. Just, you know, go pick up two or three you boxes. Get a couple sure. more. <laughs> I was like, holy nine shit, minutes. I know I smoke them world, fast. But, world record. But it was just, I just couldn't, uh, couldn't get no bang on it. The wind just kept friggin' burning it right down. Yeah. I mean, I like watching these guys with the with the reviews and, and the podcasts and things like that because, you know, I want to see what their perspective is on the same cigars that I'm smoking and what they're tasting versus what I'm tasting because, you know, you learn a lot from it too, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I can't just sell a cigar on what I'm tasting because there's so much more to it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I mean, some of these guys are, are pretty entertaining. Yeah. You know, they, they talk about a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um you know, like the ash I just got all over my pants. We were talking about that last one. It's going to happen. You know, what are you going to do? This punch is really nice. Really nice. I just like punch cigars. Just yeah. that. Then they like go away. Not go away, but yeah. they weren't available as much. Yeah. For I don't a know, while. There I don't know what the deal was. It didn't have, it, you know, people weren't requesting it. There wasn't, you weren't seeing any kind of buzz around it. And yeah. plus, plus there was so much you know, all these smaller boutiques or, or just smaller factories in general, mm -hmm. you know, pumping out some great stuff. Well, it could it be too, that company may have not been putting a lot of emphasis on the Punch brand at the time. That happened You know, too. maybe they had another yeah. brand out there they wanted to get to market. Yep. And they took their attention away from it a little bit. Right, yeah. With it. Yeah, but no, all in all, really nice smoke. I'm gonna finish this bad boy. Not in nine minutes, but you know, we're in a controlled environment today. Go outside, put a fan on it, and see what happens. <laughs> then you'll see how fast that thing will burn. Well, then I'm not smoking it, like you no, said. No, you're the not fan's smoking, smoking it. it. Been there and done that too but, many times. Yeah, if you guys are in the area, you want to stop by at the Cole Township store. We got a nice yeah. selection of punch. We've got a, a great cigar selection overall. Mm -hmm. uh, we're sitting here in the lounge. You know, feel free to you know bring your own drinks in. We just had a pizza. We had a pizza. We just ordered a pizza. You know, it was very nice. Where, where did you get that from? Chicatano's or no? no? Original, original, original. Pizza. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very Pretty nice. Good. It was there quick. Maybe we'll invite that uh, Portnoy in and do a little pizza review, review one of these days. I've yeah. seen him smoking cigars, you know, he's celebrating the Boston Celtics and all this stuff, and I think he smoked one of them backwards, you know, <laughs> but may, maybe he meant to do that on purpose, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, you, you don't know. Speaking of Boston winning it, right, they had one of the most famous coaches ever that, you didn't he used to smoke cigars in the locker room before the game or maybe even on the bench, oh, yeah, Michael, right back, right? And Michael Jordan smoked in the locker room before games. Yeah. He smoked a cigar before the but game. But then Red Arbuck. Red Arbuck, he had one on the sidelines. He had one all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and they weren't telling him no. Well, not then. It didn't <laughs> matter. A little different time. It, so. Yeah. But, you know, when you guys get a chance, make sure you uh, visit our website, cigarboxpa.com, as well as make sure you subscribe, you know, to the Talking Ash podcast and, you know, maybe recommend us to your smoking friends. Yep. See you next time. Next time.